yeah sure deep faking is cool you can make funny memes out of it or you can make some people do very naughty things but deep faking live is something on another level of just simply deep faking any videos before deep fakes programs such as deep face lab requires large computational power and time to train the ai to be able to reproduce a face that will fit on another person in another video along with that a lot of errors and artifacts can easily distort the video quality sometimes making it visible that a video has gone through post-production and alternation of content that requires time and effort. But good post-productions on the other hand can easily deceive our eyes and not just deepfakes. There are also other ways such as Carrie Fisher's appearance in Star Wars which was reconstructed and generated through CGI. While the level of trust through different types of informational media is becoming lower and lower because it is getting easier to fake and impersonate, the last level of media that holds the highest authenticity has unfortunately Unfortunately, just been breached. This AI software called Deep Face Live just throws the whole post-production problem out of the window. Compared to the software Deep Face Lab that makes deep fake videos during the post-production stage, DF Live provides a much friendlier GUI with both options for you to operate from a camera source or a video source and deep fake in real time. All you really have to do is to generate a train face model of a person from DF Lab beforehand and import it into DF Live. Then you are able to use that model's face live. It mainly relies on how well the pre-production process is, which is technically the trained face model. Otherwise, the major downside of DF Live is just that it does not have the training function. However, just by being live and running at exactly 30 FPS output on my 30 FPS input webcam with my GTX 1080, it's kind of impressive. I also tested on other resolutions too, and GTX 1080 is not able to handle deep faking live with 1080p quality but it can do a decent 720p with 23 fps and 480p with a stable 30 fps with these as the current best optimized settings for the highest fps therefore by my deduction my webcam is also in 480p of course it does have less flexibility than df lab since it's running live but there are still some minor adjustments you can make which can improve the deepfake quality if you get it right but as usual the deepfake starts to break down when there are glasses or other obstacles instructions to the face. It could have been fixed with post-processing but when performing live, this is a problem that will be hard to fix. So basically, the more visible the whole face is, the more successful the deepfake is gonna be. However, small obstructions by the hair would not pose a problem. But unusual locations of the obstructions like the microphone here would be hard to disguise itself around the deepfake face mask. Well, after coming this far into the video, you may be worried about how easily deepfake can be made. There there is indeed some other AI research that tackles the problem of deep fakes and is created to spot them. But as you are now well informed on how accessible this is, you will also become more aware and careful about the information you see on the internet. Knowledge is power and spreading the knowledge on the latest AI research is exactly what I love to do. So subscribe now if you love to be up to date. Or if you want more refined and technical knowledge, today's sponsor Skillshare offers a place where you can learn in a more detailed fashion. Skillshare Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. You can freely explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and have fun with your creativity. And after this video, you probably have a lot of questions on what exactly is AI, machine learning, or whatever this mystical and futuristic technology is. Fear not, there's actually this class called Demystifying Artificial Intelligence, Understanding Machine Learning by Christian Hailman, which provides a really great introduction on the topic of AI. The lessons aren't that long either, so you can easily go through them during your free time. What's even better is that they are currently also providing a limited time offer of one month free premium trial instead of the usual two weeks, which provides you plenty of time to go through these short lessons. And even if you're done with that class, you can also check out their other amazing ad free and high quality creative classes like photography, illustrations, and video editing. The first 1000 people to click on the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Lastly, thank you for watching. A big shout out to Andrew and many other Patreons and members that support my work through Patreon and YouTube. If you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord too. Follow my Twitter if you haven't and I'll see you in the next one.